Hello my fellow literature lovers. I have a book review today and it is on Raymond E. Feist's Rise of a Merchant Prince, book two of the Serpent War Saga. So if you're watching this book review, I'm assuming that you read the first book, which was Shadow of a Dark Queen, or you didn't know that this was book two of a series, or you just want to see my pretty morning face, which is me without makeup. Ugh. I'm still pretty though. Anyways, so because this is book two, I feel like I could give out a little bit more information. Uh, and so if you haven't read the first book, I suggest you don't watch this video. But it's not going to be like, like super spoiler, so it's okay if you watch this video. It's just up to you and if you could tolerate spoilers at all. So Basically, Rise of a Merchant Prince, we're following Rupert, to my dismay, because I really wanted to follow Eric. But I wasn't disappointed because, like I said, Raymond E. Feist is very good at writing the personal lives of his characters. And so we're basically following Rue as he becomes a merchant prince, which is basically someone who makes a lot of money through their business and, you know, is almost close to nobility. That's how rich they become. So... That's how it is, and we basically follow Rue as he um, rises to the top, and you know, he um, gains a wife, he gains problems, he gains you know all sorts of profit, and it's just it's just amazing how you see him do that. And um, I can't say the back is kind of misleading because I'm gonna paraphrase a little bit. It says, "And a beautiful seductress." Um, threatens to destroy everything Rue has built and summons catastrophe and terror into his world. And you are introduced to the seductress, but she doesn't, she, you don't get what she's trying to do yet. She doesn't start any problems that we have seen so far. And so that was kind of misleading because you are introduced to the seductress, but you don't know what she's planning yet. Um, you know it's not for the good, but you also know, you don't know what she's, what she's there for, or what she's planning to do, so I thought the back was kind of misleading. And if you guys remember the first book, you know that Rue becoming a merchant prince has nothing to do with the threat that's looming over them. And basically, that threat is these Pantathians, I believe that's how it's called, they're like a snake people, are trying to destroy the world to please their goddess, which is actually not a goddess, it's just a dragon lord. And um, so they're, um, they're trying to bring her back from the dead and please her by destroying everything on the planet. And so that's the main um, threat that they have. And because these snake people aren't much of a warrior kind of people, um, they've... Um, they basically recruited or kind of tricked the star into um, becoming part of their little um, quest. And so um, the star are lizard people who are also made by this um, um, Balhuru, or I think that's how you say it, um, um, dragon lord. And so she created both these um, serpent-like creatures and um, that's why they're working together. But um, you read in the first book why the Star are actually following the snake people and all that. So they don't forget that main storyline in here, even though you're following Rue for most of the story. Once you, told, once you get towards the end, you get back to Eric's point of view and um, their second mission, which is actually to, you know, hurt the Pantathians, um, try to find a way to, like, set them back. So that was their second mission. And so it was very interesting to see how Rue treats his wife. Um, I don't particularly care for the way he does it. And it's not because he's a bad person. He just doesn't know how to be a father or to be a husband. And so it was very frustrating to see the way he treats his wife and his way of thinking when it comes to that sort of thing. And so it was very interesting to see. I'd never seen something like this before, the, when the husband doesn't know what to do to be a husband. And... Um, the seductress, I'm waiting to see what she's about, um, 
because I didn't really get that. Um, and it seemed to be a big part of um, in the description, um, but it wasn't. So um, I like it because you get Raymond E. Feist, um, um when he like um, describes Rue's rise to the top, and um, he's very good at doing that. He's very good at um, explaining personal lives and you know keeping you interested and you know a nice little story going on. He's very good at writing those nice little stories when they're um, at the house and at home and um, definitely a good book and I like how at the end he didn't forget the main plot. I was beginning to wonder if they were ever going to get back to um, you know the main conflict but they did and um, Rue's um, rise to, as a merchant prince wasn't exactly all for naught because the crown wants him to raise money um, so they can build a uh, army and you know stuff that they need to fight the enemy you know ships um, weapons all that they need Rue to make money for that so that wasn't totally pointless when we were following Rue become a merchant prince like I say um, a really good book it follows the first one 9 out of 10 they're both 9 out of 10 and I'm definitely looking forward to reading the next one. It was very good. Um, I hope you guys read it, and if you already have read it, I know you probably liked it because I liked it a lot. If you haven't, if you didn't like it, please tell me why in the comments below and all that. And um, do video responses, comments. I have many ways you could contact me, Facebook, Twitter, um, Form Spring if you have a question, an email. I'll put all that in the description below if you want to. Um, contact me more. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and um, let me know what your thoughts of Rise of a Merchant Prince was. I thought it was really good. I can't wait to read the third one which is I think Rage of a Demon King and so we'll see what that's about because at the end of this book you find out there might be a third player in this beside um, the mid and the Sar and the Pantathians, you find out that maybe someone else is trying to take advantage of the situation that they're in. So maybe we'll see what that's about because I read the description in Rage of a uh, Demon King and it seems like it's going to get pretty crazy. So I can't wait to read that and I'll get a book review on that. So like I said, click the like button and leave me some comments to read.